PCB Ways, one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there, and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCB Way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a proper uh, debug guide into why your quadcopter won't arm. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I ran into a very, very strange issue here. And I wanted to go down to the depth of it and we're actually gonna take a look at the beta flight source code. So let's do this step by step. I'm just gonna cover quickly uh, a couple things before we jump into that section. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously make sure your quadcopter is bound and connected and um, your gyro is correct. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of those things. So the first thing you wanna do is plug in your quadcopter facing away from you and then run it and then make sure this does exactly what you're doing. And if it does, then your gyro alignment is spot on and that's something we could just get out of the way uh, from right now. The next thing you want to do is obviously make sure you have the correct serial RX enabled for your receiver. For example, my receiver is on RX2. So I would find UR2 and just enable this. If it was on RX4, then I would disable this and have it here. So yeah, that hopefully makes a lot of sense. Save and reboot, save and reboot. Don't forget to save and reboot. All right. Next thing we want to go and make sure... Uh, you have no propellers, obviously. Make sure you have no propellers on. And um, if you don't know if your if your receiver boots up with USB, just plug in a battery. Again, make sure you have no propellers on. And there we go. And I'm already bound. I already know that. And we can see everything moving just fine here. Now, just seeing it move here is not good enough. You have to make sure that when you move the throttle, that the throttle actually moves there. And, um, and if it doesn't, then you're gonna have to change these right here. So for example, I'm gonna switch to FR Sky. Mine's an FR Sky, but if I switch it here, look at this, that's not supposed to happen. And when I move the throttle, my roll is moving. So that's incorrect channel mapping. So what you wanna do is you only have two options basically, just switch on both and see which one works. And here I switched it and you have to press save. Very important or else nothing will happen. So now you can see that the quadcopter is not moving anymore and I'm gonna roll right. And now it's rolling right, so let me just fix the orientation. But anyways, it's doing what I'm what it's supposed to be doing and you could also see that up there. So that's, that's how it's supposed to be. And so we're good to go. We also have an auxiliary right here. So we'll save, 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 save. And we're gonna go to the modes and we're gonna just set up a an arming switch. So there you go. You have to have an arming switch to debug this obviously. So now once you've checked all of that, the last place I always check is the motors tab. I know this sounds kind of weird, but just trust me on this. Make sure you have no propellers on, you have the battery connected, and you have your receiver connected as well to your transmitter and it's on. So what I like to do first is enable the motors, make sure they spin, that's good, they, they all spin, keep it enabled, and arm. So right now, for some reason, maybe I have a different arming switch. So here I'm running into a little issue, which I wasn't running into earlier. So let's go figure out what is the issue here. So since it's not arming, we can go into the CLI. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and type status. And now we see we have two errors, CLI and what is that? CMS, what the hell is CMS? That's not even in the source code, is it? Well, let's see CMS, CMS menu. Hmm. I've never seen that error before. This is a new error that just came out right now. But I'm sure if I reboot the quadcopter, it'll go away. But I am just curious to figure out what the hell that is. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. What is a CMS? So we're just gonna type CMS. Uh, there we go. All right, set arming disabled. And why does it do that? CMS open menu. So I guess I've disabled, I've enabled the OSD by accident. That's why I'm unable to, to arm right now, which is pretty interesting. I never knew that before. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna reboot the quadcopter. So I'm gonna unplug the battery and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the USB, plug the USB back in, and then plug the drone's battery back in as well. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so now we could try to, well, we can't arm. We have to go back to the motors, enable the motors, arm. Everything works perfect. So it's doing what I'm telling it to do. Okay. Now everything is working, but let's just pretend like it didn't work like earlier. So we would go back to the CLI here 
and just try to arm it won't arm even if it's correct so just try to arm and then we're going to type status here and there we go status okay so if you don't get arming disable flag section here that means your arming switch hasn't been enabled or something is wrong with your receiver area so it hasn't detected you try to uh, arm basically so right now we just have two errors cli and msp and those are simple. CLI is this page and MSP is basically the USB is connected. And this is the runaway takeoff prevention. Uh, this is a safety feature. So those are normal to see CLI and MSP. However, anything else added upon this is not normal. Like we saw earlier, we had CLI and CMS. Uh, so that wasn't normal. And obviously we figured out that it was the on-screen display. Now, if we go back here, there are some really interesting ones. So for example, if you get no gyro, something's wrong with your gyro. Very simple. Fail safe, you won't really see these on the bench. You'll see these in the black box debug. Uh, debug. So the black box debug section, you'll see these if you fail safe. So if you ever just f fell out of the sky randomly and you checked your debug and it said fail safe, then you know what happened here. Runaway takeoff is usually for safety features. Uh, crash detected, I don't think you'll have that. Now throttle, this is really important because this plays two roles. One, uh, make sure your throttle is down obviously when you test. So for example, right now I'm going to put my throttle up and I'm gonna try to arm and let's see what happens when it when we do that here what kind of error do, my kept my throttle my throttle is still up so you get a throttle error that means the throttle is high now even if you lower it and you try to arm again and it's still there that means your channel map is incorrect in the receiver section so keep that in mind your channel map would be incorrect and your throttle is up and if your channel map is correct and your throttle is down and it's still giving you that error it could be your trims. So by accident, you trimmed it all the way up and um, yeah, it's still giving throttle. So that's very important to take into consideration as well. Now let's move down the line, angle. So sometimes this comes on and off. So basically right now, if I flip my quadcopter upside down, it's not, I don't have it set to arm if it's upside down. So if I'm flipping it upside down, I'm gonna try to arm it. My throttle is down and I'm gonna go ahead and click status. So let's just go ahead and do that, status. And we can see we get the angle error. So uh, yeah, so that means it's not gonna let you arm because it's not in the correct angle. So yeah, that's what that error means there. And let's go ahead and move down. Boot grace time, have no idea. We could check this out, but I don't think it's really that important. No pre-arm, not that important load. Uh, okay, so before making this video or making decide to make this video, the error that I had was calibrating an accelerometer calibration, even though the accelerometer was off. So what I had to do when I had this error is basically just go back here. It's going to reboot again and you're going to have to connect and go to the setup and just calibrate the accelerometer and that's it. Your problem is solved. You'll be able to arm again. Strange. I know I've never had that before, but um, yeah, that's something to take into consideration here. CLI means basically you're connected by USB CMS menu. We figured out that means you accidentally turn on your on-screen display. So just, unplug and plug back in and test again. BST, I have no idea, but since we're here, let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm guessing, but I could be wrong, uh, some sort of an issue with the serial port connection. Disarm reason serial command. So uh, MSP is basically USB, you're connected, paralyzed, have no idea. Let's go ahead and check that out. So we'll check that out together. Uh, might help some people out there. Okay, and prevention unit test core, I think it's gonna be in core. We'll also double check this one as well. Okay, and box paralyze. Hmm. Not really much saying here, but you could probably, let's see what we have here. I'm guessing it's some sort of an error with, obviously it's an error, have no idea what it is. GPS, if you have this error, that means you've enabled GPS and you have no locks, so it won't let you arm. So some when you plug in the GPS sometimes and when you enable it, it won't let you arm until you have like a minimum of seven satellites or six satellites or something of that nature. So that's something to take into consideration. Uh, disabled uh, rescue, RE, well, I'm guessing it's rescue. We'll double check that together. Just move this here. So let's see if we could figure this one out. Oh, it's gonna be in core, I'm pretty, con so it said rescue, so I was pretty correct here. Box GPS rescue. So maybe rescue mode was on by accident and you tried to arm. This is what I'm guessing here. So we could actually figure that out. So yeah, I'm guessing it seems like it's uh, what, it, what it's doing here is it's it's checking obviously if you're armed or disarmed. Uh, if you're disarmed and you had this enabled, then it won't let you uh, go ahead and, and arm. So yeah, keep that in mind also. Uh, RPM filter, this is pretty interesting here. So if we look at the code here for RPM filtering error, 
So the RPM filtering uh, arming error is basically that one of your ESCs is not giving RPM data in the D shot signal. So we'll actually, we can see that right here. So we can see here, it says use RPM filter. Now here, what's going on is if any of the motors are not providing any telemetry data, then it'll disable the arming for you. So for example, you have three ESCs that are updated and one of them wasn't updated and uh, it's not giving back any RPM filter or RPM data. So it won't let you arm. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, or uh, let's just say none of them are giving your RPM filter back or one of them. So if any of the motors are not giving any telemetry back then, and you have RPM filtering turned on, then it won't let you arm your quadcopter. So that's what that error means. Reboot required, pretty simple, I guess. This is probably something wrong with the D-shot signal. This is the accelerometer calibration, just go calibrate. Uh, motor protocol. So you could have a bad motor protocol, I guess. I, I don't know how, uh, when you would actually get that here. And last but not least, arm switch. I think arm switch is if you don't have an arm switch uh, enabled possibly. But yeah. And well, that's really it. If you guys want to see more videos like this where we dissect the beta flight source code, we can go ahead and do that right before we get into mesh flight. And if you still have more problems, uh, this will be a really easy way to get help online and to reduce the time in you to get you in the air, basically. So you could say, hey, listen, I'm getting this error while I'm trying to arm in my uh, status command in CLI. And this way you could cut, di cut down time quite dramatically and maybe even figure out your own issue. So, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also really hope this helped somebody out there. And uh, I do have a Patreon. If you go to Spartan there, it'll be super great. I do a ton of giveaways and a ton of stuff there. And if you still have any problems, download Ask FPV on iOS and Android. The community will help you out there. And um, yeah, everything is linked down below. If you can check those out, those do great support channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.